Hi, this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today I'm going to talk about how to create a free mock-up using Pencil. If you're involved in software development for any amount of time, it's likely that you're going to want to make some mock-ups to demonstrate an idea for a project. And I found that it recently I was looking for a low cost or free option for doing mockups and in exploring my options I found that pencil uh, seemed to be the best choice so anyway um, if you want to go ahead and install that what you need to do is go to your search engine of choice and type in pencil mockup And when you do that, um, it's likely that the first result is going to be the one you're looking for. Right here, this is what we want. Pencil Project Official Site. And you can see the URL, pencil.evolus.vn. Go ahead and click on that link. And that's going to bring up your main page here. If you're like me and you're running Windows, um, you want to click on this Download for Windows button and that's going to get you a setup executable that you'll want to run um, and it's a pretty typical Windows installer you can just go ahead and click through the prompts and you'll have that up and running pretty quickly if you're on another platform go ahead and click on the downloads link here and you'll see that they've got a couple different options for other platforms for example here is uh, the Linux distribution and then we've got a Mac OS X bundle. So once you've got that installed, um, we'll go ahead and bring up Pencil here. And what you're going to want to do is um, we've got a new project here. It's already started. And if you look over here on the left hand side, you'll see there are several groups of shapes and the one that I typically use is the sketchy gooey shapes here um, I use those quite a bit but you know you may find some of the others to your liking there are several groups that are specific to platforms such as these Windows XP widgets and then if you scroll down a little bit you'll see there's there are Android widgets and then finally iOS widgets so in this circumstance, we're going to make just a very simple mock-up using the sketchy GUI widgets. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can export to HTML and use navigation in that export. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and rename our page, go to Properties, and what you'll have to do is just type in the page name. I'll type page one here for my page name. Now go ahead and hit apply, although you may want to make note here you can adjust this page size. I just had happened to already have used 480 by 800, so that's what we'll do for this example. So I'll click apply. We've got my page name there. Um, Let's see, the next thing we're going to do is add a label. So we'll add uh, a label and we will just say that this is the label to describe the name of the app. We'll just say my app. Next, we'll go ahead and add another label and this will be for the page name. So I'm going to go ahead and call this page one to match the title up above there for the page and if I go into properties I can actually change the font properties I'm gonna make it a larger title 48 and I'll hit apply and close and then I'll go ahead and move that so that's my page title and then you know to make this maybe a little bit more realistic example we'll go ahead and add another label here and we'll call this name we're gonna make this as if it's a very simple form I guess um, I'll add a text box here 
We go ahead and enter some sample text there. We'll say John for the name. And then um, the next thing that we'll do, we'll uh, bring another label out there and we will call that state. And we'll try another control. Probably a good one for state entry would be a combo box. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll type the name of the state or a sample state name here that could be used. We'll type New York. And then finally for our simple form, we'll put a button on here and go ahead and change the text on that to submit. All right, that is pretty much all we need for that first page. So to go ahead and create a second page, an easy way to do that is right click and go to duplicate. So we're already on the second page. I'm going to go ahead and rename the second page to page 2. We'll click apply. And then change this large field to say page 2. Large label, I should say. And then most of this stuff we're not going to need anymore. So I'll go ahead and remove these. And what I'm going to do on the second page, I'm just going to change the text to say, You made it. And really the purpose of the second page for us is just to demonstrate the navigation features. If I go back to this first page, I'm going to right click on our button and go to Link 2 and then Page 2. That's going to enable our navigation. So, the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and save my project. So I'll go up to the document menu and select save. And then I'm going to go ahead and overwrite an existing demo project that I had here. I'll hit save and I'll say yes to replace this. Now what I want to do is I'm going to export to HTML. I found that to be a good format here. I'll go ahead and do export document and then single web page. I'll click next and then I want all pages in the document. Next. And we'll have to select a destination. see and I'm going to go ahead and use my mockups folder that I already have. Um, if you don't have a folder you'll have to create one and select it. I'll click select folder and then I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And it should be completed. So Let's go ahead and bring up a Explorer window here, and I'd actually save that out to my desktop and the mockups folder. Go to mockups, and then you'll see here this index HTML is the one that was just generated. So we'll go ahead and open that up, and here it is. Um, one thing you'll see is that it makes one long HTML page with all your mock-up pages included. You know, they're kind of separated by space. But anyway, um, if you want to see the navigation working here, all you have to do is click the Submit button, and it takes you directly to page two. So that's a very simple demonstration of pencil, just scratching the surface there. And I'm sure that if you take a look at this, uh, you'll be very pleased at the amount of features for the free price tag. Anyway, I hope you get some value out of this video and are able to uh, create some great projects with Pencil.